So, we have just pulled in to beautiful Burnham Harbor in Chicago. I love this harbor. Great place to be. It's, uh, it was a very successful trip. Nine and a half hours, uh, 80 some miles up the river, four locks. That's actually a really successful day. So, uh, I'm pulling into the harbor here. I'm obviously supposed to be going down that way to, uh, to our slip. But uh, I've got a minute because I'm single-handed, like I mentioned. So I want you to kind of see the process that I go through to get a uh, get a boat ready to dock single-handed. This is a 60-foot vessel. Uh, takes a little bit of preparation, or at least advanced thinking, uh, in thinking ahead. That is. So let's uh, let's see what we do. So uh, I'm kind of off to the side. I'm not in anyone's way. I'm gonna throw the boat on skyhook. And now that I'm on skyhook, I can walk away from the vessel. You know, and I'm gonna move a little bit out of the way again just to be 100% out of everyone's way and gives me a little bit of time to kind of go through my steps. Okay, so back to Skyhook. It'll hold the boat in place. The engines will continue to run and it'll hold us in place. So in the meantime, I'm going to kind of get a couple things ready. So. One of the dock lines that we were using earlier. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let it kind of sit here so it dangles so I can reach it from the dock. Um, and I'm gonna kind of just get a couple of these lines ready. Um, so I'm just gonna do a couple basic hitch knots. Uh, get the boat in a spot that I feel comfortable. So I'm just going to get everything at water level because that's of course where the docks are here. Let's see if I can make this one work. There we go. I'll fender, get a couple extra fenders just to be safe to start and then once I get the boat officially docked in, then I can figure out exactly what makes the most sense for this client's dock and how uh, how I really wanted to, to end the proper situation. So I'm just gonna have a couple blinds pre-done uh, and ready. Obviously, I don't wanna be traveling with uh, uh, dock lines on the uh, swim platform as we're traveling. So I kinda toss this over the edge here, but it still is accessible um, for me when I'm at the, in the slip. Now I'm going to grab a couple of these extra fenders from the port side because this, the dock that we're going to is a starboard side tie. So I obviously don't need extra fenders on my port side at the moment. These are super long lines, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but and I'll bring this dock line with us too. So now, I'm gonna put a dock line at this forward midship. I've got one at the midship, I've got one at the stern. So that's, this gives me plenty of dock lines uh, to start at least. Again, I'm at the water line there. Do another little knot, a hitch. Got plenty of fenders. A little lower, so I'll go over here. Just getting these dock lines ready and slightly dangling. Of course, not in the water, not, it's not good. But this way, when I'm at the dock, we're gonna, I have enough. Uh, room to to grab and go uh, there is a slight breeze you guys doubt you can, maybe can hear it but it's blowing me in a direction that'll likely put me a little bit off the dock so because of that i need to be a little even extra careful and extra prepared so i can have the boat uh, 
you know this is a big heavy boat need to be able to make sure I can keep it against the dock so I'll do this now this one same kind of thing I've got the line on the on the uh, the boat so it's not going to go falling anywhere but it is accessible if I need to reach it when we get to the dock so again forward as far as I can go bow and I have a line at that uh, that's attached to the to the total bow of the boat forward midship spring line I got fenders down there I've got another midship spring line more fenders two more fenders I'm more than sufficient I'm going to use this cockpit docking station once I get ready at the dock to, uh, again, I can be sitting here, I can have my bow thrusters on, which I'll turn on right now. You hit both on buttons. It's on and ready. And then I can be pulling into my dock. It's actually a stern end slip, so I'll be backing into the dock and I can affix as needed. So I feel pretty confident in the setup so far. You never know as you get closer, you never know uh, what you might need to do. I can get the video on here. So it looks like they, they just installed a back. thinking about my docking situation as I'm coming up to the turn where I will be making my way down the alley um, I know I'm gonna be sterning into the slip and obviously I know I'm gonna be tying off on the starboard side um, as I'm backing in I'm going to want to make sure the boat doesn't go too far backwards so obviously uh, background this slip is a hundred foot slip this is a 60 foot boat I have so much room in this slip it's amazing um, so my more than enough room uh, so I'm not overly concerned about that but again I don't want once you're backing into a slip you want to stop your you want to stop your rear momentum so your boat doesn't go too close to the dock or anything like that so uh, as I'm as I'm thinking about backing in what I want to use is probably this stern line I want it to be facing forward, um, essentially rear facing uh, in the slip, you'll see in a moment, but this will stop my momentum from going any further backwards. So um, that's, that's what my thought process is and, and I'll walk you through it. So I'm just, I'm gonna kinda keep going straight. I look up at the soldier field there to kind of view the flags if you can see them it's a little far in the distance I sure I'm sure but uh, the winds aren't moving much you obviously don't see the water dancing around a lot in here so um, it looks not too difficult at all so we're gonna be going to C31 so we got 29 30 and then 31 so that's my slip right there obviously it's a super long channel um, I'm gonna just slow down my momentum reversing with my port engine which will slowly turn my vessel uh, straight up and down in this slip and to help the turn I can go forward with my starboard reverse with my port I'll center out my uh, rudder here okay so I'm watching the dock I'm kind of feeling how, how the boat is turning in the slip Continuing to do a nice and just put it in neutral. I'm going to step back towards the cockpit docking station so I can hit transfer twice. This is lit up, so now I have control from here. So I'm watching, I'm looking backwards, I'm seeing that that's the slip I'm going into. I look, I can look forward to see how much further room I have that way. I've got more than enough room, so I'm not 
too close to the vessels in front of us or behind us, of course, if there's a dock here, or a boat here, anything like that. So I'm just gonna slowly turn this, slowly doing the twisting of the joystick. You can see the colors twisting as I, as I do that. So the boat's just continuing to come around give it a little more edge and once she does I'm gonna be able to start backing up because I know the swing is coming this way so my momentum is taking me past this pillar so once I know that I'm past this pillar I can continue reversing and obviously my view of the pillar is pretty good but I can't see exactly where my swim platform is so that's why I err on the side of see, seeing what I can see knowing that I can be closer to this dock and I have plenty of room and all my fenders are lined up. So I'm going to continue to shift a little closer to this dock. Now I know I have plenty of room to go backwards. I'll give an eye over here. I've got more than enough room cleared over there. So I'm going to go straight back. And then I can look up the channel, look up the dock lines here to make sure my boat is uh, straight up and down perpendicular going into this slip. just drifting in so I'm watching my how far my dock lines are or how far my boat is from the dock it's starting to drift this way and I don't want it to drift too much so I'm gonna slowly pull it away I have the bow thruster if I need it it's, it's engaged I'm watching my stern and right now I'm kind of identifying the, the uh, boat hooks the boat the cleats here that I might need to to affix my boat to so I'm gonna keep going further back Again, this is dead calm right now, so this is an easy day to do this. And once I get closer, I can do the positioning that I need. So I'm going to continue to go backwards. The winds are blowing me this way, so again, the wind's going to blow me onto the dock, uh, which will kind of help pin me in place. Uh, so it's kind of working in my favor right now. So I'm going to use that cleat for my spring line, my forward facing spring line. So I'm gonna continue back a little more. I'm just gonna inch closer to the dock because I have two, three feet in between me and the dock right now. So I'm gonna bring the boat closer to the dock. She's about to lay up on the dock. You see it right here, all around, perfect. I'm gonna inch away, step off. I'm gonna grab this dock line here and get it over here just as an extra line real fast. Now I'm gonna move up to this dock line that I told you I wanted to forward facing. So again, this will stop. I should have set that up differently. That was an error on my end. I don't want the boat to go any further back. So if I start right here, you see how the line's going this way, the boat's not gonna go any further back right now. I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna come up to this stock line here. Perfect. This is the bow line that I set up, right? So now I can do this. And I don't know exactly, again, this is my first time in this slip, so I gotta figure out what makes sense for how I want this boat set up. But for now, let's just, let's just play around. I'm going to put this one up here. So all my fenders, you can see them properly working on the dock. I'm going to pull this boat. Let that sit there for a minute. I'm going to switch these up. I'm going to take this one away. I'm going to take this one here. I'll take this line and that's not gonna be long enough for that. maybe just enough and I can reposition again once I once I get the boat fixed then I can kind of recalculate in my mind okay what makes more sense what would I like what how would it to me make more sense so
get them locked in for now. This isn't permanent, but again, single-handed, getting the boat fixed to the dock is half the battle. Obviously, I'm not gonna want this here for all times because this is a major trip hazard. So what I would ideally do, and I, since again, the boat is pretty affixed right now, we have time to figure it out. I'm gonna take this to the opposite spring line, or opposite stern. Keep it out of the water if I can. Now, snug the boat up. You see all my fenders lined up. They're nice and snug there. I don't need to force them against the dock at all times because that'll cause some rubbing. But just to know that they're there and they're working, position to the right heights. And I'll go and figure out the, the setups. Just clean it up for a minute. So now the boat is affixed. I can mess with things, I can change things around. Look how wide this slip is, it's massive. So I have tons of room. So I can go in, I can kill the engines. I can take care of the shore power. Shore power cords. They're probably not going to be long enough. So I'm probably going to have to figure out a different program here. Okay, I'm going to need to move the boat further backwards to make sense with these shore power cords. So, if that's the case. See, it doesn't look like these guys have enough cleats. Obviously this boat, a boat this size and this slip has a lot of extra room. So we have to figure that out. So not a problem. We'll work with it. So if I take that bow line off and a crazy wind came from the opposite direction, we don't want the bow going crazy, blowing away somewhere, right? So I'm gonna kind of just hold on to these lines as I, as I go but these are just to give me an opportunity to kind of rethink this so if I start pulling the boat backwards since this one's forward facing we can work with that I'm slowly drifting the boat backwards. I'm gonna untie this dock line. I'll leave that there. I don't want the stern to go too far away. So I'm gonna tie this up here. Nicely drifting this way. Again, just momentary holds on things until I can figure out the makes the most sense. So now the bow line's catching a bit. But she won't go too much further backwards. There we go. Now I still want this rear line. So I'm gonna again, this is all working as I go here mentally. But now I want this line, as I mentioned before, this was the forward facing rear spring that I want to use. So we have to figure out this bow line because there's not one right now. So what I could do in the meantime, I can tie this up here. So the boat has a multi a forward and a rear facing. That's a little tight, but I'll loosen it in a minute. Now I can work with this. Tighten this a bit. Doesn't need to be crazy tight. There's plenty of room in this slip. I'm 
going to loosen all this a little bit. So, these could work for now. We're going to need to get new dock cleats put in, so we'll work with what we've got for the moment. Finalized by snugging up the stern. Shore power. Let me see what makes the most sense here. Can pull the lines all the way across. Lay them this way. We're not going to leave them in the water, of course. Go around. Make sure the power breakers are off. Off, off, off. Okay, I won't turn those on quite yet. So again, these are gonna sit in the water for a moment. I'm gonna fix that. So you don't see that. Fix this line so it doesn't uh, hover underneath it. Actually, let's do that again. There. We need to bring in this line so it's not too sit here. I'll figure that out on the back end. Kind of tuck it out to the side so that's not a trip hazard. So we need something here. You see how the boat's drifting away. Something's not holding it to the dock well. Again, we can figure out other options. I don't know if this is the best option but let's look we went through here this is pretty straight up and down i would prefer if this was maybe moved a little bit forward but again for the time being we're figuring it out and then we can talk with the client talk over their specific location and the slip maybe they want to move the boat in a different direction forward or aft or anything so in the meantime i don't want to make decisions for them until they can choose what they want to do Fenders are good. This one's a little tight here, right? So we need to, how do we give this a little, a little play? We need to loosen the bow line. There we go. So then the fenders are hanging there. We're eventually gonna line this dock with fenders. We don't, I don't like to leave the fenders having to hang over the boat. I don't, it's one more thing to think about when docking or leaving the dock. I leave them lined up on the boat, or on the, on the dock that is, and then they're, they're fixed for good. Once you get the right setup, you don't have to overthink it again. And then the other thing I'll look at, I might be able to add one more dock line. Obviously, we need to loosen or tighten this because I don't want the line hanging in the water. That's going to get it dirty and ugly and doesn't look right. This is nice and calm, nice and small. You can cool oil it over here. Okay. 
think I have one more dock line that I can use. Uh, I don't like that one. Keep the black lines all com similar dock lines. I'll make it work. But either way, essentially now you see the boats are fixed. We're in our slip. Did it on our own. It's not crazy windy, so it's not a huge feat of, uh, uh, of anything crazy, but it's um, 